Man, we need some lights in here. Goodness. What is up guys, my name is Brandon and this is DIY Vlogger. In this video I'm going to be doing a review on the Robo 3D R1 Plus 3D printer. Robo3D does have quite a reputation for their great customer service and they really don't disappoint with this printer. They include everything necessary to get this printer up and running as quickly as possible. The 3D printer comes pre-assembled. It comes with lots of tools and supplies necessary for 3D printing. It comes with a fairly large spool of PLA filament and it also comes with their own software that makes it easier than ever to print an actual object. The R1 Plus comes with a scraper to scrape off your builds from the print bed, a glue stick to help them adhere to the print bed, a screwdriver to help for disassembling things, some tweezers to help remove extruded filaments, an allen key to help disassembling, some grease, and four rubber feet. Let's go over the printing process. Once you plug in your printer to power and your computer, you can install the software. And once that's finished, all you have to do to add a project is to click the Add button, select your object that you want to print. It should be a .stl file. And in this instance, I'm going to be using a USB micro SD holder from Thingiverse. And once you select that, you can just click print to start the print. And if you want to, you can go to settings and controls to change the settings. You can easily change quality and materials as well as some more advanced settings as well. The printer is also very quick to heat up, taking no more than 10 minutes each time you heat it up. And the other nice thing is it does say the estimated print time as well as the layer view which will show you the uh, live view of what the printer is currently printing. The printer can also send you a text message when your print is done if you are going to be away during the print. Although this is a decent printer, it is very loud and it's going to be really annoying to have this thing running while you're sleeping if it's in your bedroom. Alright, the print is done. Let's take it off of the board and check out the quality. First impressions, it's looking really good. And here it is guys, this is the finished product. This was printed at 205 degrees on medium quality, and it turned out really, really good. Check it out.
Okay, so here's three other prints and I decided to print three of the same thing to see the different qualities because it does have a low, medium, and high quality mode. So I printed three Star Wars iPhone 6 cases from iPhone to test out the different qualities of the print. Now this is the low quality, medium, and high quality. So let's take a look at the low quality. The low quality did a pretty good job. You can definitely see that there's big uh, lines from where it extruded and it didn't do very well on the uh, lowered parts on the Star Wars emblem here and it did misprint right here and it messed up here, misprinted here and there. Um, on the inside it didn't do that great. This is where there were a bunch of supports um, and I haven't done I haven't done anything to these. I didn't sand them or anything except for the high quality one. Um, so there's the low quality. Medium quality did really good actually. This is the one I've been using for my phone. You can tell that it is a lot better than the low quality and it didn't misprint. Looks great all around. Sides look good and the inside is better than the low quality. Uh, so there's the medium and last up we have the high quality which didn't really work out. It looks really good. Much better than the low or medium quality. It did misprint in pretty much the same places as the low quality and I'm not really sure as to why uh, but that's kind of a bummer but the one thing that is a bummer is I could not get the supports off so as you can see I did try to sand it a little bit but I was unable to get the supports off because they kind of like fused to the plastic below them. The other ones I just kind of pried it off and it was pretty easy but this one was very stubborn so I wasn't actually able to use it but it is a good test to see the quality of the print. Okay so I've told you about the print quality and the software that comes with the printer and how the printer comes pre-assembled but the thing you need to know is does the printer function well? Is it fast at printing? Does it jam? You know, things like that. So let me explain what I think about this printer. It is very fast at printing things. The high quality uh, iPhone 6 case came out in about three and a half hours. The low quality came out in about an hour and 20 minutes. And the medium quality came out in about two to two and a half hours. So overall, the printer is very fast, but one of my major complaints is that this printer jams a ton. I've had it for about a week now, and it's already jammed on me three times, and I have had to fix it. Uh, but other than that, the printer is pretty good. It's fast, it's stable. The, the prints don't get messed up the higher the printer goes. But another thing I would like to say is the filament spool isn't the greatest. It, you really need to print a new one if you're going to get this printer but other than that this is a really good printer definitely worth the price and I would definitely recommend it to beginners alright guys there you go that is my review of the Robo 3D R1 Plus 3D printer I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you did learn a good bit from this video and if you guys would like to see more please support me by hitting that like button and subscribing as well. It really does help me out and I'd love to hear your feedback as well. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.